Hello and welcome back to more Sherlock is awake. Um, let's go ahead and talk to Becker. I believe I'm close to finding what I need. Do you know this man downstairs, the one perpetually reciting his multiplication tables? Yes, he is Wolf, but you will get nothing from him. He will only speak with one man, this Professor Schwartz, but I believe he died a long time ago. Perhaps the medical files on this man, Wolf, will be helpful. We have those files. We have them. We... We have those files. Leave me alone. I... Uh, we... Uh, oh, fuck me. We have those files. I own them. Hello? Two times six. Okay. Apparently he will only... Okay, 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 okay. All right. So I don't need to find anything else. What I have to do is I have to combine my spectacles with the hairpiece. What? <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, okay, sorry. Next thing we're gonna do, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go... Apparently there's a classroom right, um, here? Yes, that, that says classroom, I think. Oh, you can kind of tell it does. Um, I'm an, I'm, I'm done with the whole multiplication and adding and all that. I'm done with it. I just... This should prove useful. A fake and beard. And now time to become the good Professor Schwartz and pay a visit to Wolf. All right, so we're definitely going to do that, but is there anything else in this room to to glance at, or is... They really modeled an entire room just... Oh, okay, I was going to say it. There's no way they modeled an entire room just to put a fake beard in it. Oh, God. Dr. Gygax, as your staff informed me, you could not see me before my departure, and since you implied during our last meeting that my responsibilities at the Institute would be fulfilled by you, I believed it wise to lead, leave... You were here. Please understand that the mission entrusted to me by my by health authorities in this country is not taken lightly and is worth the the in, in investment they are making. I'm sorry. That is why I inquired into the personal files of every patient, the records, and asked for the specific reasons for your refusal to admit certain patients to the class. Though this is my first assignment, I believe that these initiates were not dealt with appropriately or in a way that similarly placed establishments would employ. Future experience will confirm if this is true. But this is not the reason for my letter. <sighs> Just get to the point. Once again, I want to draw your attention to the anonymous patient whom you... Whom you assigned to the laundry for which I am gratified. Three days ago, I was witness to yet another of his wonderful reawakenings. I was attempting to explain extremely basic concepts concerning gravity to him when he answered my question by going to write on the blackboard in his typical mechanical manner. Then, without saying a word before I could stop him, he began writing a series of equations, which greatly exceeded my own knowledge in this field. I copied them before he could erase them and consulted appropriate texts at my college library. To my shock, his equations accurately depicted the real... the... The relative ma more movements, I'm sorry, that's a V, not an R, movements of celestial bodies in our universe and their mutual gravitational influences. I did not understand the half of these calculations, but I was able to, to determine that they contained no errors. Based on these facts, I beg you to transfer him to the university hospital. I took the liberty of contacting a former colleague and arranged the necessary funds for his transportation and care. They hope to achieve great results in treating 
his amnesia as they can confront this man with people having a similar degree of education and knowledge. I hope that you will honor my request, Herzog. Gee, Who Herzog. is this anonymous patient? Perhaps there is a file on him, as with the other patients. All right. Oh, oh, hello, hello, hello. It must be used to punish insolent pupils. Slightly excessive. Just slightly. Just slightly. Not, not overly. Just, just slightly. <laughs> okay. Um. Impossible. Okay. Now that I have a fake beard, we can combine it with the glasses. And now we have a disguise. Let's go ahead and use the disguise on Wolf. So, Wolf, I see you have mastered your lesson. Splendid. P -p Professor Schwartz? I congratulate you, Wolf. I cannot say the same about your other classmates. I am most unhappy with their behavior, because it seems they have been cheating. Professor Schwartz, you saw them, didn't you? I know my lessons. I always work so hard, and the others, they crib from me. I know, my boy, I know. But their leader, he is a doctor, isn't he? Yes, Professor, yes. He is the most vile member of the group. Sometimes he tries to keep me from my lessons. He says he will treat me like the others who don't speak like us, and who scream so very loud when he punishes them. But I keep to my lessons and recite my tables all the day. He can't stop me. That's good, my boy. You have made me proud. Now, I need your help. Where do they meet? I must find them and make sure they get the punishment they so rightly deserve. They meet over there. But it is well hidden and only the doctor has the code. First, he makes noise with the fire near his office. Afterwards, he makes noise with the fire in front of me. And then he makes noise behind me. You will see he does not know his lessons. Thank you, Wolf. That's a clever boy. You have earned high marks this term. But for now, you must try to recite your lessons in silence. Since I am the professor, I know and see everything. There is never a need to shout. As you say, Professor Schwartz. I don't need it anymore. Doing humanity good there. Okay, so he messes with the fire. Right here. Then he messes with the fire. Um, here. Then he messes with the fire. Here? It works. Simplicity itself. It's not that simple. Before I go, let's see if we can find a file on the anonymous patient. But don't I need a name to look it up? Oh, not there. Here. Ah, here's the file I was seeking. It can Never only be mind. our mysterious patient. What a strange character. <clears throat> only one of the files found in the Institute's examination room is recent enough to be considered as dealing with the patient mentioned in Professor Herzog's letter. The file indicates the man was found on a riverbank and was almost dead. He remained in the rescuer's town for several months. Unfortunately, he suffered from sudden and uncontrollable fits of anger and was placed in a local asylum. He showed no signs of improvement under their care and was consequently sent to the Black Edwies. This patient is mute and suffers from after effects of a cranial fracture, including amnesia. He is capable of performing menial tasks and seems to have an extraordinary aptitude for lessons given here. How peculiar. Peculiar. 
peculiar. Sorry, that's a hard word to say. Peculiar. All right, let's go ahead and go through the secret passage. Mm hmm. scared the shit out of me have you ever been so scared you just went silent oh my god <laughs> oh that scared oh my god my heart is literally racing that literally scared me into complete just silence that oh my god oh my god his eyes are I don't know if you can see it in the capture his eyes are glowing. My apologies, but I do not understand what you are trying to say. If I may introduce myself, I am... Who you are means nothing. All that matters is your reverence to the One. You came to invoke the Great Lord with the speaking, and now I ask you, who am I, you wretched mortal? Scary, creepy, someone I don't want to deal with. Uh, shit, I don't know. I don't know. If I was to guess anything, I would guess Cthulhu. Uh, well, not you specifically, but your god. Uh, I have... No. <laughs> Hold on, let me look it up. What's the name of the enlightened one? Uh, Light of the Abyss? Light of Abyss. How the hell would I ever, ever get Even that? Even your pitiful mind can find enlightenment before serving as food for the servants of chaos. Where are all those poor souls kidnapped in London? And what about the others who pass through here in their travels? Your search is in vain. You are nothing to the great lord. Soon he will heed our call, when those titans will be reassembled for the awakening of their king. The sleeping lord shall walk the earth. You and your kind will tear your flesh when you learn how your lives insult the great lord and master. You will plead for the abyss, as have all those before you who fed the great one. Those who give their weak flesh to our lord cry for his return. So shall you. He has lain dreaming, silent, hungry, awaiting his followers. Tremble in awe. Behold, the Great One returns. <coughs> He makes so much noise. I better be on my way before he attracts the entire staff. Let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me save, 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 so I never have to talk to this guy again. What the actual fuck? Okay. Okay, is that all? Is that all? I'm never coming down this way again. If that's it, Never, ever, 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 ever come. Never, no, never, ever, ever. Oh my god, what am I playing? <laughs> I thought, th see, I, uh, I thought I was gonna be a cute little detective and put on my cute little hat with the ear flaps. I should seek a better way to the surface. I it would be better to turn back. Okay, um, I don't really want to like deal with 
people that chop open heads, people that remove parts of brains. I don't really want to, nope, nope. I don't want to deal with that. I just, I, I don't know. I should seek a better way to the surface. I'm sorry. It would sorry. Be better to turn back. What? Okay, what was the code? It was three, three short, one long. Okay, one, two. This isn't right. Perhaps if I begin again. Okay, I got it, I got it. One, two, three, long. All right, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'm just... Uh, we've seen a lot in this game so far. We've seen eels coming out of bodies, Cthulhu. Uh, we've seen a crazy-ass hermit covered in blood. We've seen severed limbs. We've seen... Uh, uh, we've seen a lot. We've seen a lot. Ugh. Gross. Um... I think the worst thing was that dead bird, though. That was probably the worst. Hello. Hi. No challenge here. It is a primitive lock. Any simple metal tool should allow me to force it. But do I want to? Pardon me, sir. I need your help. He does not seem to hear me. Hi. Do I really? Okay. Sherlock. <sighs> I'd like you to explain to me your reasoning for doing certain things. It's the laundry room, isn't it? There's two doors. Closed. Tight. Okay. Impossible. Okay. Um... Um... Moriarty! Moriarty, my worst enemy and a man who was presumed dead. Who could think this demon could have survived such a great fall at Reichenbach? He seems a shadow of his former self. There is no doubt he has truly lost his memory and therefore cannot be a part of these events. Oh my god! Moriarty? Wait, is this... He's... Oh, he's the one that was able to recite the stars and the moon. He's the anonymous patient. That's more... Mm. Okay. Oh. Uh, how about we just leave him here? Impossible. Mm. Closed. Tight. He's also smart enough to... pretend to be... I uh, must be mute. careful to avoid attention. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Moriarty, want to help? Find this outsider as quickly as possible and bring him to the treatment room. I shall take care of his memory. Professor, do you hear that voice? This man who is speaking to two others, a man of great intellect and ability, who is approaching and is even now right behind that door. You know him, Professor. Come now, Professor. You can't have forgotten so easily. Can say it, Sherlock Holmes? Let me remind you, Professor. I am going to reveal his identity. I will tell you his say, name. Sherlock Holmes. You know him well, Professor. He is... Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Stand where you are. I gotta say, that was hilarious! That was totally hilarious! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's so clever. <laughs> that was such a cute little thing. At last, the laundry. First of all, I must prepare my Amos disguise. Amos? Who is Amos? It is oh. the imposter! 
He is here! I'll sort you out, buddy. Come here. The doctor is not here. We had internal concerns arise today. <laughs> Herr Director is engaged with urgent hospital matters and cannot be disturbed. Our birds escape. Very well. There's a fire. We will take this troublesome wretch along with us. Perhaps tomorrow the doctor and I will be able to discuss our other matter. First of all, my friend, you should know that you have been dealing with two famous professionals. Your deceit has failed, and you should know that it is impossible to confound us. Who are you, and why have you come here? What is your opinion, Watson? Uh, Holmes, but, but what are you doing here? And you are as white as a sheet. It seems as though you met a ghost. Kind of dead. It's quite possible, Watson. Quite possible. You should have told me about your plans, Holmes. Definitely not, Watson. You would have acted in an unnatural manner and done everything to persuade me against my course of action. You can be sure of that. Good God, Holmes, think of the risk you took. Indeed, Watson, and I hesitate to reveal my further plans. They are likely to be far more dangerous. Will you explain? Even though I know the crux of this affair began in Europe, and even perhaps in England, we have no elements indicating the when, the where, and the how. Our only lead would have us travel to a continent, not our own, one that is wild and untamed in many ways. I assume that you now know the name of our next destination. New Orleans? Wild and everywhere, New Orleans. I don't know. Shit, man. New Orleans. You are quite correct, Watson. <gasps> New Orleans, Louisiana, located in the wilds of America. Our nemesis has a group of his men there, and we must arrive in time to stop them. We must make haste to Le Havre and book ship's passage immediately. I took precautions before our departure from Switzerland, but oh it God. is imperative we maintain the utmost secrecy regarding both our true identities and our destination. Oh my God, we are I dealing got it. with a cunning and powerful adversary, Watson. Quite powerful. I wasn't expecting to have gotten that. I'm so happy. Do you require That's the first typing when I got man? Speak, child. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, yes, young man. As a Mr. Ho, um, the big detective. It is often necessary to use all of one's little grey cells to solve great mysteries. Hercule! Oh, that's so cute. Hercule! Where are you? Oh, here you are. Naughty boy, come along now. Madame Poirot, your stop is coming soon. An agent will assist you with your luggage. That was such a cute little cutscene, oh my god. That was so charming. As soon as we find a hotel, we shall send for our bags. I took care to leave nothing of value on board. Everything is safe and secure right here. I even have a rough map of the city. As you can see, Holmes, I prepared for every possibility. Hmm. And here we are in the new world. A whole continent ready to welcome us with open arms. Is this not invigorating, Holmes? Think of the challenge that lies ahead. Look at the Indeed, American Watson, flag. But let me remind you that we have few clues and time is not our ally. And countless lives rely upon our success. You are right, Holmes. Perhaps we should secure some local currency with our bills of exchange. At the present, we have but a few dollars at our disposal. Cool. I expect everyone to have a strong American accent. Better yet, a Louisiana accent. Louisiana accent isn't a southern accent, isn't it? It's like a little bit extra, isn't it? 
Hello. Good morning, dear. Come to relax? Uh, no, thank yes. you. Yes. <laughs> yes, queen. <laughs> oh, that makes me very happy. Are you puking? Yeah, he's puking. Is there anything over here? Nope. Nope. That man is the end of the world. Okay. I thought I saw something else that was interactable. I have no reason to go there. Okay, not that way. Right there. Was that what I saw? Oh, and right here. S Miss Smith and Young Trader. Why are they wearing rice hats to paint? Oh, oh, okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> that was quite a that was quite an audio clip for this little puppy dog. That's <sighs> that audio clip with that puppy dog. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm clearly I have going no to go there. somewhere. Um Watson, I love your cute little bag. Come on. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> okay. There we go, bank, so we can exchange your money here. <laughs> One more step, and your brains will be about as useful Why? as gator bait. Why? The continent welcomes us with such hospitality, doesn't it? This isn't what America is. Beg pardon, my good man. Is the bank closed for some time? <laughs> as long as it takes Mr. Blackman to come back from Baton Rouge with more dollars. You were robbed? Not hardly. We had a jewel sale. When might one expect Mr. Blackman to return? He likely could come back most any day, but he'll be gone three days at the least. Is there anyone else who could shed some light on this transaction? You see, we have come from Europe and are interested in a particular set of precious stones. It may well prove to be this same set your bank sold recently. I ain't talking, and I don't know nothing about it anyhow. I like how this guy has a very, very country accent. I told you once, now don't rile me. Get lost. Hold on, let me save because... I'm almost having a feeling like there's going to be some stupid way to die. <laughs> like getting shot by a trigger, no trigger happy American. Whoa. Okay. Are we in like, um, I can't tell, uh, some sort of Asian district? It would be better to turn back. I can't tell with those characters. Um, I'm not sure. Um. Oh, I've got money. Oh, hold on. Let me look at my inventory. What do I have? Bills of exchange, money, a broken statue of Cthulhu. Okay, what? Oh, what am I gonna do with all this? Oh, Sheriff. Nope. Ugh. Watson, what are we supposed to do? What do you make of this, Holmes? I don't know, I don't know. This is such a small area. But I can't even figure out where I'm supposed to go here. The best girls of the coast. Um, maybe she has extra information now that we've learned about a robbery, or maybe. I have no reason to go there. Okay. Do you have any more extra information? What else do you want? We have work to do. Yeah. Okay. But I saw there was something over there that was interactable across right there. Right there, those doors. Have I tried these doors? I think I have. Oh, hello. Just 
this looks like a shed. <laughs> it just kind of looks like a a shed. Um. Oh, I saw something. What do you make of this, Holmes? Is that Watson? That's Watson. He's stuck behind the wall. That's so cute. Were you trying to find me, but you couldn't find me through the wall? Poor guy. I have no reason to go there. Okay, it's a burr. Where? Maybe if I give the guy some money, he'll talk with me. Do you want some money? <laughs> there is okay. one feller. Goes by the name of Champagne. He's Cajun. He knows everything that goes on around these parts. You can most likely find him near a pile of planks at the end of the pier. Everything has its price in America. Isn't that what they say? Pile of planks at the end of a pier. Couldn't be right here, is it? Hello? Okay. Okay. Oh, these things are too low for me. Hello? Hello? Um... Watson, there you are. Boy, I feel like I'm traveling really far. Kid, hello. Okay. Okay. Um. God, look at this. Just look at this. It's so pretty. So pretty. Nothing. Shit, how far are we gonna go? With open arms, Watson? Napoleon, Lafayette. Don't mind the dogs, they just don't take to the smell of gentle folks, especially foreign ones. So what can old Champagne do for you? How's about some planks for your boat, or maybe a ride in Gator's bath? Some other time, perhaps. People say that you know everything that occurs in this area. Maybe so. Don't care much what them people say. What you want to know? We are particularly interested in a recent transaction in precious stones. No doubt you are familiar with these events. For sure that's true. Now that you say it, I reckon I heard of some swap for jewels. I would help you out, but my poor brains like the train with no coal. What you want me to do? Now there's a bottle of some champagne or this and that. Old champagne will have a thing or two to say to you. Let me- whoa! Hello, dogs that have appeared. Um... You don't want that, do you? You... Speaking of that, it come to me true. It was a week ago, maybe two. A butler working for a rich man made himself a jewel trade to honor and co. Looks like business to be done fast and with a quiet way. By my foot, the truth is here now. The name of the employer of this silent partner? He go by the name uh, Arneson. He from far up the bayou to the east. 
He got some crazy notions, Latin. They must be all like that where he coming from. No doubt. One other matter. During the last few days, have you noticed any strange ship movements, especially regarding those taking leave of port late at night? You did right by old Champagne, so I tell you true. Five days ago, a ship, she weigh anchor in the middle of the night. She took sail right after a mess of folks brought a lot of boats to meet her and charged on board. These all came from the swamps. Could be toting contraband. Anyway, left for the old world for sure. Old Champagne keeps to his own self. No reason to know nothing more. And advice to you, stay clear. Those that sticks their nose where it don't belong end up feeding the gators round these parts. We shall consider ourselves duly warned. Good day. And if you wants to go for a ride in the bayou or something else, old Champagne treats you right. I take dollars or bottles of you know what, right? I like this guy. It's fantastic. All right. Uh, what do you make of this, Holmes? Okay. Now, what am I trying to do now? I'm trying to speak to the guy. How do I get to him, though? Oh, didn't he say like Smith and Smith or what? Like what? What business? Holmes, our bag. Thief! Stop! Thief! Oh my god! Get- whoa! Get him, get him, get him! Oh, oh, what? <laughs> get- uh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Open. Where's the thief? Where'd he go? Oh, 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 fuck. <laughs> How do I get around? How do I get around? Oh my god, listen to this music! Um... Excuse- excuse me. Oh, I got it now. Whoa! Stop! There he is, thank god. He waited for me, what a good guy. Oh, come that here, is. come here. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Wait, how do I... There he is. He's waiting for me, what a good guy. Um... How do I get over there? No, really, how do I get over there? Through here? I have no reason to go there. I I really do have a reason though. I really, really do. Okay, how the Wait, wait, just one more second. I'm trying to catch you and I can't figure out how to get over there. Um Hey, do you um how? <laughs> How? Um... I've taken so long that the music has ended. How? Mm. Let me save real fast. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Cool, I climbed. There he is. Hey, dude. Stole my... F Stole my bag. Stole Watson's bag. We can't have that. You can't steal from... From my Watson. Come here, come here. Oh my god. This is cartoonish. I kind of like it. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> I love how cartoonish it is. Where'd he go? There he is. Dude, you got a gun. Shoot him. 
He stole my bag. People shoot for a lot less reasons in America, let me tell you. <laughs> ah, come on. Ah! Ha! Ah. <laughs> um... Okay, uh, through here... Okay, where the hell could he have run to from there? Okay. He's there! Up there? Um... I like how no one is concerned except for me about the theft. We truly are in America. <laughs> Through here? Oh, come on. Um. Where is he? Where is he? This guy should give up his bag stealing days and just be an acrobat. He's fantastic. All right, come here. Um, how? Okay, we're gonna go. Oh my god. Love that little jump animation. We're gonna climb up here. Uh, hi, don't mind me. I'm just barging in. Um, did I get turned around? There we go. Okay. Okay. Uh, really? Okay. Hi. Can, can you stop, please? Okay. Okay. Oh, where did he go? Down here? Go- go down. There we go. Oh, jump, I guess. Oh my gosh! I'm sorry, am I Stop. playing... Like, a live-action Aladdin here or some shit? Except I'm the bad per- not bad person, but I'm the guard with the knife chasing Aladdin in the front scene. I sure do feel like it's something like that going on right now. Okay, 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 okay. Oh god, I don't want to be in this room. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. It's so rusty. Um, I think his model was not visible in that animation. Oopsie, it happens all the time. No one, no one but me cares. There he is. Hi. Oh my god. Just catch him. Please be the end soon. This is the longest chase scene in history. How long have I been chasing this guy? Did he he- I went this way already, didn't I? No, I didn't. Kind of a dangerous too. Okay, do I turn it off? There we go. This is so cartoony. Really? 
Stop right there, you two. Not a move. But the thief, he is going to... Thief? What thief? All I see are two furners tearing up my wharf, making a lot of noise. I expect you have some sort of papers proving who you are and what business you have in my parish. I assume you have proof you're here legally. Oh my what? god. <laughs> of course we have papers in our bag. But that villain, he... Well, upon my word, you allowed him to make off with our bag. What are you insinuating, sir? Are you trying to offend me? Gentlemen, look here. Calm down, Watson. But can't you see that... Watson? See, you are Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. Please, spare us the pretense. You know very well who we are. And a clever fella in the bargain. <laughs> listen to me and listen up good, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. We're over here. We're over here. <laughs> Hi, pretty. You will leave tomorrow morning for Europe on the same ship that brought you here. No need to offload your bags. Just turn around and get back on board. Nothing good will come your way if you ignore my advice. Oh, and one more thing. Without proper papers, you're nothing more than outlaws here in New Orleans. And outlaws end up as gator bait in my parish. New Orleans. <laughs> now With open Steve arms, up. was it, Watson? Holmes, enough. It seems they were warned of our arrival and waiting for us. Let's find the wealthy side of the city and the house of this Arneson. Come, Watson, time is not our friend. Watson, let's pay a visit to this Arneson. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to end this here. That was a long chase scene, you guys. That was so long. You guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.